Welcome back to the Mark III Transit build. Uh, been cracking on with it. Rear brakes are now done on this side. We'll put that together. Show you on the other side exactly what I've done. I've not filmed it because it's taken so long to swap all the springs and stuff around. Yeah. New wheel cylinders, new shoes, um, new springs and things. Other than the main top springs, I couldn't get them. Yeah, I've had to change the brake pipes that run from the back axle back to both cylinders. They weren't rotten but they'd seized into the little bit in the back of the cylinder so snapped. Uh, yeah, that's that really. I got the drums off with the press and then uh, we'll put them. The shoes themselves are actually okay, there's plenty of meat on the shoes but they are obviously the original ones and the last thing I want is the actual shoe material to separate. I've had that before, they'll come off and jam the drum don't really fancy that, seems to have gone through all this amount of work. The reason the rear brakes were seized was because of these wheel cylinders. Um, the little pistons in here are absolutely solid, can't move them, the same on both sides. So yeah, that's this side done, I'm just going to adjust it up, put the drum back on, and we'll move on to the front. Right, move on to the front, I'm going to be changing the caliper, pads and all the fitting kit. See, it's see solid. Not going to mess around trying to unseed all these, better off just replacing it. But excuse it, I have literally no space down here. Of course the caliper bolts are going to be stuck. So that's the siege caliper off. You see the pads I've seen in the days, they're sort of separating and coming apart. Definitely had the use out of them. So I've got new calipers. I can't actually find Mark III Transit calipers anywhere. So these are actually uh, Land Rover Defender 110 brakes. They're exactly the same, other than where the hose goes in. It's a bit slightly different fitting. So I'm just going to trim down the banjo bolt and fit it in. It's the only thing I can do without sending these off to be refurbished, which I think are well past it anyway. But yeah, literally are direct fit on there other than that. Uh, get the hub all cleaned up and get them fitted. Putting a bit of copper grease on the pads just to stop them sticking in and stop them squeaking. They literally slide, slide straight in. Nice and easy. Copper grease on the pins, literally just massive split pins. Spring retainers. Slide the pin in. the taps down. Which sure couldn't be any easier. That's that. The banjo belt I've just got to shorten very slightly so it fits in the new caliper. So I'll come back when that's all done. And it's all back together. I literally had to shorten the banjo bolt by about three mil because otherwise there's a gap. Worst way scenario is I'm going to probably put some Land Rover Defender flexi hoses on it, but it's fine for now to work the brakes. It's all back together, nice easy job. Same the other side. All back together. I did have to change one of the inner tie rods, which is really hard to find, it's a left hand thread on that. 
but luckily I managed to come across an original Ford Motorcraft one, so that was a bit of a bonus. That is on. So now the next job's really is I've got to weld this arch up, get it for its MOT, get a set of tyres on it. I've got a, it's got power steering on this, but it does have a hydraulic pump for now, cherry picker. See it somewhere up here. I'll, I'll basically take the old hydraulic pump off and reroute the power steering belt. Hopefully, that's just a, literally a straightforward job. I'll give that a go.